If the power provided by one transformer is not sufficient to meet the consumer's requirements, you can connect equivalent transformers on parallel bases. Note that voltages created by secondary windings should match by phase. To ensure this, you need to connect winding inputs and outputs. This parallel connection technique gave rise to use of three single-phase transformers in three-phase current mains. Transformers are grounded into a common three-phase transformer with one common triple core. Powerful transformers have windings whose inputs are marked with Latin letters X, Y and Z. High voltage ends are marked with capital letters, while low voltage ends are marked with lowercase letters. Winding outputs are generally marked with A, B and C letters. In addition to the above two windings, the transformers that are not galvanic coupled to each other, there are single winding transformers. They are also known as autotype transformers. If the primary voltage is applied to N1 turns and the secondary voltage is tapped off from a larger number of N2 turns, the autotype transformer is a setup 1. Like common transformers, its voltage gain is equal to ratio between the greater number of turns to the lower number of turns. As the current difference is applied to some turns, autotype transformers have small heating losses as compared to conventional transformers. However, low transformation ratios greatly reduce this benefit, though autotype transformers still offer a simple design. You have to remember that autotype transformer must not be grounded if the supply network is grounded. This shortcoming is not typical of two winding transformers.